protecting geographically explicit regions through legal or other means to conserve resources for both ecological and social values is one of the largest global actions in history. All but four countries in the world have at least one protected area, and 15% of the Earth's surface is designated as a protected area. And in Utah, we are lucky enough to have some of the highest concentrations of protected areas in the world, and people have definitely noticed. In the last five years alone, over a billion people have visited our national parks in the United States. That's more than every attendee to NFL, NBA, MLB, MLS, and NASCAR events combined. And this high amount of use takes a high amount of science-informed management. If you were to go to most national parks and ask them how many visitors are hiking on trails, most parks wouldn't be able to tell you a clear answer. So we're helping provide technical assistance and Arches National Park, where we're here today, is one of the busiest in the entire national park system. We're here helping managers understand visitor use to this windows area of the park. What we do is we use infrared trail counters to count the number of people, and we calibrate those counters with some trail cameras to make sure that we're being accurate with that. The infrared counters, for instance, if people are walking shoulder to shoulder in a group, won't be able to catch all of those people. We calibrate the times from the trail counters with the times from the cameras that we have, and we use those two things together to produce a data set that allows us to accurately assess the number of people in that area. Managers often try to provide a variety of recreational opportunities in a place, places that have opportunities for solitude, places that have opportunity for family togetherness, places that have opportunity for great photographs as well. The second thing that we're doing is we're looking at how different characteristics of places like trails influences people's ability to socially distance during the COVID-19 pandemic. So one of the things we're looking at is how trail width actually influences visitor behavior. So right here, this trail is about 15 feet. As we move up this trail, it goes to about eight feet. And then up at the very top there, it drops down to even smaller than that. So we wanna see how people are able to keep that six foot distance between each other and their groups. The other things we're looking at are group size and the density of visitors, the number of people using the trail at that time, and how that influences people's ability to socially distance. And with collaboration from faculty down at the USU Moab campus, we're also looking into the future. If the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us anything about visitor use in parks and protected areas, it's that access to places for outdoor recreation, like our national parks, provide an essential service for human health and well-being. We are looking to see how these results might generalize to other parks and protected areas so managers can better understand how to create socially distanced, safe opportunities for visitors. If you have questions about this project or want to know more information, please feel free to contact either myself, Zach Miller, or Wayne Fryman.